Hey guys, it is Christian here with The Beauty Basic. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So today I am super excited because today's video I'm going to be bringing you my review, first impressions, and a demo on some of the items that I picked up from the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea collection. I picked up the... Uh, I picked up the Wipeout Color Correcting Palette. And it looks like this. I picked up the skin the skin twinkle palette. I also picked up the concealer in light. I picked up the foundation in fair light neutral. And then I also grabbed the eyeshadow palette. If you guys are interested in seeing how I feel about this new huge launch and the products that I did pick up from it, then you guys go ahead and keep on watching. Alright guys, so first what I'm going to go ahead and do before we actually get into the actual demo of the products, and I am wearing them all on my face today, I am going to go ahead and swatch out all of the products for you. We're going to go ahead and start with the highlighting palette, and we have sunlight, we have filtered light, and we have moonlight. So sunlight, filtered light, and moonlight. So let's go ahead and give those swatches. So that is sunlight, right? Yep. Then let's do filtered light. Okay, that was super chalky. I didn't, I didn't even like the way that felt. So, and that did not even really show up. Look, yeah, look at all that powder kick up, if y'all can see that. So that was filtered light. And then let's do Moonlight. S filtered Light, this is Sunlight, and this is Moonlight. Yeah, that middle shade I don't like at all. That just looks super chalky and super powdery. So this is Filtered Light, this one is Sunlight, and this one is Moonlight. The other two are really nice, really buttery, really soft, really blendable, but that middle shade is not the business at all. Swatch, let's go ahead and swatch out all of the eyeshadows. We're going to start with Seashell, which is right here. Then we have Mermaid right here. Then we have sand, and this is sand right here, and then we have cove right here, we have starfish, beautiful color, I really like starfish, reef is also another really pretty color, and of course I used neither one of those in my look today, so then we have reef, we have abyss, And we have Wave. Really beautiful colors. Really beautiful, really wearable shades. I'm really digging the palette. I the only downside to the palette is that I wish it had a slightly darker crease shade. Other than that, I love the eyeshadow palette. I love the colors inside the palette. It is really beautiful. Aside from the Tartlet palette, you will see, I did have to use that in the video today. This is the only other Tarte eyeshadow palette that I own, but I really do like this. The Skin Twinkle is gonna be a hit for me as well. The middle shade, not a fan of, but what can you do? So the other two are beautiful, and I really do like those shades in, the, in this packaging. The color correcting kit is really, really nice. I am gonna say this, guys, if you do not have problem skin, if you have a single pimple on your face, buy a concealer. You don't need to go out and buy an entire correcting palette. Just put on a concealer and keep it moving. But if you do have problem areas, if you do have things that you wanna cover up a little bit more, this is definitely something that is worth investing in. I do like this. 
the concealer I liked as well it was a nice color match for me so I do enjoy this I don't like the doe foot I don't like the doe foot applicator on there but we can look past that so this was also a success for me the only thing I did not like and I'm going to continue playing with it the only thing I did not like was the foundation it just clung to my dry patches like nobody's business and I made sure because I was using a new foundation today I made sure to apply I did a mask before I put this on a very hydrating mask and it still did not work for me so I don't know so I'm gonna try this a couple more times and then I will come back to you guys with my full 100% final thoughts on this foundation but as of right now this is the only thing I did not like the lipstick is so awesome. I know that the lipstick is not part of this collection, but it's amazing. So like I said, if you guys want to see a lip swatch video on these, let All me right, know. So my, no. so my eyes are already primed. So we are going to take the eyeshadow palette. And we're going to start with this color here. I'm going to attempt to complete an entire look with this palette, but we'll see. My eyes have already been my eyes have already been primed and set. It was okay. Whiter than I was expecting it. We're gonna go over that with this color here. I was expecting that to have a little more oomph than it did. That's okay. I'm going to take this shade here and I'm just going to feather it onto my outer corner. And I'm holding the brush pretty much flat against my eye right now. And then we're going to, I'm going to diffuse the color in as we take it to the lid. And we're going to start to blend it into the crease. Then we're going to go right here. And we're just going to, I'm just going to be using like a flat definer brush. And we're going to pack that in the center. And then we're going to go back over it with the original brush just to kind of marry the two colors together just to blend them in a little bit and then we're going to go in with the MAC 221 and then we're going to start defining and blending And then we're going to go in with this shade here on the inner corner. Same flat definer brush. Just try to brighten that inner corner ever so slightly. I'm just going to go into the Tartlet palette and grab force of nature just to kind of get this a little bit more too shim it was too it was looking a little too shimmery for me i'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to complexion. Go 
go in with the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Wipeout Color Correcting Palette. I'm going to take just a detail brush like this. This one is from Urban Decay. I've had it for years, guys, so I'm not entirely sure the name of it or if it is still sold. But basically, I'm going to take this and we are going to dip into the green color correcting shade. And we are going to pinpoint this. And then we're going to take my damp Real Technique sponge and just kind of work it in that color a little bit. And then we're going to apply it to the places where I'm a little red or a lot red. Typically I would not go in with this dark of an orange underneath my eye. I would go in with something a little more peachy, but we're going to go for it. To, but we're going to go for it today. I'm going to take an It Cosmetics concealer brush. And I'm just going to warm up the product in the I'm just going to warm up the product in the pan a little bit first. Take it on the back of my hand, make sure it's warm and easily blended. And then we're going to take it into the inner corner. Okay, it's, it's, it's a sheer orange. It's not like a bam in your face orange. So this might be okay. And then I'm gonna take it to about right here underneath my mouth. I have an entire color correcting video guys um, demonstrating some new products that are out on the market right now for color correcting if you guys want to check that out and then I'm just going to take the real technique sponge and kind of blend it in again and then on the rest of the eye I'm going to take the yellow shade so I'm going to go in with the yellow shade on the rest of the eye same thing, just kind of warm up the color in the pot or in the pan a little bit. And then just kind of So that is all I'm going to do with this palette today. Next we're going in with the foundation. Next I'm going to go in with the foundation which I picked up in Fair Light Neutral. I'm pretty sure that this is not the color I wanted but that's the color I got. But we're going to go for it and hope for the best. I'm just going to drop a little bit of that on the back of my hand. Oh this might work. This shade might work. And we're gonna take a beauty blender, which you guys are my real technique sponge, which you guys know I never apply foundation with a sponge. It's rare. And then we're gonna start working that into the skin. It is already clinging to my dry patches a little bit. So now we're going to go ahead and try out the Skin Twinkle Palette. But I also wanted to try out the Contouring Palette, so I went ahead and picked that up as well. And since we're doing a bunch of first impressions on Tarte products, I figured why not? So that's what it looks like here. And we're just going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. I'm going to put the yellow powder from the Contour Palette where I put the concealer and then taking my Real Techniques my Real Techniques sculpting brush I'm gonna go in with the contour powder I'm 
And while that's chilling ever so nicely on my face, let's go ahead and check out these Skin Twinkle palettes. We're gonna take, we're actually gonna mix both of these. And then we're just gonna take the blush from the contour palette And then we're going to quickly move on to the under eye. We're actually going to take Dreamer from the Tartlet palette first. And then we will blend it out with Mermaid or Cove. And then we'll blend it out with Cove. Blend all of this away. All right, guys, and that is it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really, really hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me today. If you did, I'm going to go ahead and ask that you do three things. The first one being giving this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. The second being going ahead and leaving a comment down below letting me know what you would like to see next. If you want to see a lip swatch video of those new lipsticks, tart lipsticks for, that are launched at Ulta, let me know. I would love to do that. Or if you want to see an entire review and demo on the line that was launched at Ulta, including the foundation, the eyeshadow palettes and things like that, comment that down below and let me know. And the third thing is if you did enjoy this video and if you did enjoy hanging out with me today, I'm going to ask that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Subscribing to my channel just ensures that you do not miss any upcoming videos. I do post videos every Sunday and every Thursday. And yeah guys that's pretty much it so thank you so much for hanging out with me today and, and until next time you guys be safe out there bye